Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right. Hear ye, hear ye. We got an update on Lord Forqua <laughs> and the Nicole Murphy situation. Okay. I think I kept calling him Forqua last video because I was thinking about the damn guy from Shrek. Forgive me, my lord, for I was just saying a short. But his last name is Fuqua. Thank you to all those who told me about the pronunciation, so I will make sure to call him Fuqua, Fuqua. Whatever, y'all know who the hell I'm damn talking about. Any damn ways, there's an update to this story. Looky, looky, who wants a damn cookie? It looks like Nicole Murphy is changing her story. I told y'all the damn source <laughs> that fed that bullshit to the Jasmine brand was full of damn shit, okay? Now Nicole Murphy's coming out, she's talking about the situation, and basically she's apologizing for her actions, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and read this to you guys. Go ahead and check this out. So Nicole is telling TMZ this. Nicole initially said that they were just family friends and had a simple exchange of a friendly hello. She's now telling another version to TMZ. Without going into the entire situation, I want to apologize to my family and to Leela and the Fuqua family for what transpired. It was not my intention to be in this situation. I do not condone women kissing or interacting in any way inappropriate with a married man. I too was once married and I would never intentionally undermine another woman despite what has been written. Then sources tell TMZ this. Nicole was under the impression that Antoine was divorced. That's why she engaged with him the way that she did. We're told that she feels terrible about this and hopes folks can forgive her for her mistake. It's unclear if Nicole was told by Antoine that he was single. <laughs> We're working on getting clarification for that. As for Antoine, we've reached out to his camp. So far, no word back. <laughs> Is anybody shocked that Lord Fourqua has nothing to say? <laughs> Anyways, this whole situation is a mess. I'm glad she's apologizing, but I'm not buying it. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, uh, Leela, Rashawn, neither, you know, her or Antoine came out and announced publicly that they were divorced. Ooh. So either he's lying or she's lying. Something's not right. But I feel like the relationship has been over for a long time. If you guys don't know, I didn't talk about this in the last video because it had nothing to do with Nicole. It's not like Nicole had the baby. But Mr. Fuqua has not one but two kids out of wedlock. On Leela Rashawn. So he has two side babies. And the one side baby, I believe he's about 15. He was born in 2003 or something like that. So he's about 15 years old now. Um, there was a little girl that was born as well. So he's been cheating on Leela. He's been playing her. You know, so again, Leela decided to accept the first baby. You know, she wanted to work it out with her husband. She decided to accept the second baby. She wanted to work it out with her husband. So at this point, you know, when you're willing to accept something like a side baby, can you really get mad at him cheating? You're already accepting side children. So what you're doing is basically giving him an excuse to keep cheating and keep doing him. So she has to find the strength within herself to cut off that toxic relationship and move on. Because obviously he's not that into her. I've been caught that out when I've seen the pictures of them. She's always hiding behind him. She's always shouting him out. He doesn't reciprocate any of that to her online. So the whole situation is messy. But like I said, I'm glad that Nicole did apologize and speak out. But I'm still not buying her apologies. So I think they're both full of shit. I think they knew what they were doing. I think she knew that he was not divorced. But she didn't care um, until she got the backlash. And then a lot of people were even mentioning in the last video that Nicole was looking at the camera when the paparazzis were taking pictures of her. So she knew. She knew something was up, you know what I'm saying? So the whole situation's a mess. I hate how, you know, celebrities try and twist stuff like we, the viewers, are crazy. Oh, regardless of what's written, regardless of what the blogs are saying, well, nobody has to write or say shit, bitch. I have eyeballs. My eyeballs tell me that you're kissing on a married damn man, okay? So ain't got nothing to do with what was written and what was said and what was, you know, speculated. I have my own eyes. And I come up with my own damn conclusion. You was doing a bit too much in Italy, Miss Nicole, okay? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, concerning Nicole Murphy coming out, playing crazy, and saying that she had no idea that Mr. Fuqua was not divorced. 
<laughs> even though it had been announced publicly anywhere. And then last but not least, how do you feel about Lila Rashawn just staying with this dude as he's had multiple children on her over the years? You know, do you feel like at this point, that's on her? If you're gonna accept these two damn side babies, hell, you might as well go on ahead and accept Nicole and, you know, welcome her into the family too, shit. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.